Hello to the members and friends of Davidson College Presbyterian Church. I don't know if you remember, it was about five months ago, I sat in this doorway of our shed in our backyard to tell you about the session's decision not to do in-person worship and not to have live streaming during those early days of the stay-at-home order for the pandemic. So I thought I'd sit back down in this doorway to update you on some of the changes, again, coming our way this fall. Through email, through phone call, through newsletters, you're gonna find out more about some of the opportunities to be together that'll come in your way. Some of the opportunities literally come in your way. We're talking about ways to bring some elements of church to you. But some of the opportunities we're talking about are gonna be ways that we think we can safely gather in person for certain activities. Now, when I say the word safely, you should know that your staff has been working with a medical advisory task force made up of nurses and doctors from our congregation. People like Heather Kaneda and Nicole Rupp and Steve and Phyllis Justice, Wynn Mabry, Susan and George Burhans, Becky and Emmett Montgomery, Jill Bradley. They include doctors and nurses, pediatricians, parents, grandparents. One of them is working in a hospital with a COVID wing. And they've been helping us design some safe in-person activities, safe to the extent that we can minimize as much of the risk as possible, knowing that any in-person activity will always bear some risk, especially in this time of pandemic. But with their guidance, we are looking to the fall and we've got some plans. I wanna let you know that as we design those plans, my encouragement to our staff, to our committees, to all of our leadership and to you is not to think about what we can't do, but to talk about what we can do. Not to think in the category of what we used to do, but what we get to do in this new day and age. Now, here's the truth. In the wake of the pandemic, we are gonna be letting go of some things we probably should have let go a while ago. Let's be honest, Presbyterians can be hoarders when it comes to traditions, some of which are no longer useful anymore, but hoarders no more. We aren't gonna be those people in the coming months. Instead, we're gonna be people who are embracing the new things that we get to do and can do. And in this age of pandemic ministry, we aren't gonna say we've never done it that way. And that should never cross our lips anymore. Instead, we're gonna be people who are limited only by good public health policy and hopefully not limited by our imaginations or by our spirit to include one another in our life together. And friends, when it comes to that last point, I wanna let you know we've got the skills to organize and we've got the resources to build new ministry in this new age. But we need you to be people who want others to be a part of our life together. We have to have the spirit to be willing to invite people to plug into life at DCPC. If in the past we we're worried about being off-putting by inviting folks to join, no more. We should be more concerned about the emotional and the spiritual health of our fellow members and friends and so desire them to plug in where they're able to plug in to our life together. Now the good news is that in a day and age in which we are shifting from content to connection, when we are talking about more than services but about support, and where we are shifting from adaptation of what we used to do to innovation of what we get to do, the good news is the church has been here before. Pentecost gave birth to the early church. The Reformation gave birth to Presbyterians. We worship a God who does new things. This is a God who made everything out of nothing. This is a God who makes a way when there's a no, no way. This is a God who did a couple million new things before you had your first sip of coffee this morning. God's got this. We just need to seek the Spirit to help us get on board now, as we talk about getting on board and doing new things and doing some new things that include in-person gatherings, you should know that we will be mindful of what it means to be inclusive of the least of these. Those who are not able to join us because of fear or because of the risks or because of their living situation. We will always ask whether or not what we're doing can be made available digitally. And where it's not always able to be made available digitally, we will make sure that we have a balance in our lineup of things that can be done online in addition to those that can only be done in person. 
So thinking about that safety, thinking about that faithfulness to the God of new things, thinking about inclusiveness, I've kind of modified the DCPC mission statement for myself this fall as I think about our life together. I'm talking about us as the body of Christ, faithfully, inclusively, and safely connecting, supporting, and serving one another and the world. I hope you'll be on board for that kind of mission. May the Lord bless you and keep you.